So is it going to be a hog? Is it going to be a dog? Is it going to be a superhero? What is our new mascot going to be? Hi, I am Greg Sykes. Welcome back to the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. I could really use your subscriptions. And when you do, it's very important that you hit that notification bell because if you don't, YouTube will not, I guess they, they will not um, suggest my videos because, you know, my, my channel's been dead for a couple of months, so I'm trying to pump some life back into this channel. Uh, so anyway, um, that being said, there you go. Please support this channel. <laughs> but let's get into today's video, shall we? So, um, yeah, we're talking about the mascot stuff. And I was on a Facebook group, Washington Commanders Facebook group. I had just joined it, actually. And... Already, I can tell them uh, I'm a little outnumbered on this group because apparently uh, they don't really take too kindly to those who are still very much in touch with, you know, the, the history of the Washington Redskins. So that being said, um, you know, there was a post uh, about how the new mascot has to be a military dog. And, you know, it has to be that or, or nothing else, basically. And so I chimed in and I was like, it should be a hog because, and, and basically I was like, the only choice is a hog. And my reasoning is that simply it has ties back to the team, right? The offensive line was named the Hogs in the 80s, early 90s. And, you know, it was also, a, it's an ode to Joe Bugle, the, the late, great Joe Bugle. And if it wasn't for that offensive line, I'm not sure if this team would have had any of those Super Bowl trophies. Because... You know, we didn't have a franchise quarterback ever, really. I mean, you could you could argue uh, Joey T, but, you know, we never really had what you would consider Joe Montana or definitely not Tom Brady or, or anybody like that. So, you know, we won multiple Super Bowls with multiple quarterbacks, and you got to give a lot of that credit to that offensive line. And so that offensive line being, um, you know, lovingly nicknamed the Hogs, you know, that was a big part of the Washington Redskins back then. You had the Hogettes, you know, the fans who dressed up like uh, cheerleading Hogs, and they were a huge part of the fandom of this team back then in the 80s and 90s, probably early 2000s, right? And so... I don't understand, or I don't believe that some of these folks really understand how how deep entrenched uh, hogs are or is <laughs> um, as it pertains to the team. And so, to me, I guess because that I grew up during the glory years and I got to watch them. <clears throat> and I understand the depth of that. And there were some who were like, oh, yeah, I was around during that time. I understand that. I would have been with you five years ago. What changed five years ago? I mean, what changed between five years ago and now that made you think that it should not be hogs? I mean, I, I, don't, really, I don't really get that. Again, this is my opinion. So, honestly... The comment section is going to be there for all of you folks to, to chime in to say, okay, your point's made, now here's my point. Understand it. Just, you know, keep it civil, you know, and all that. Just say, this is the reason why I think this way. And, you know, 
maybe I'll change my mind and say, hey, okay, I can understand going with a military dog. Um, you know, it's funny though, I haven't heard anybody say anything about superhero. <laughs> I heard nothing about superhero whatsoever. I've heard, you know, it seems like it's it's hog or dog or bust, right? It's nothing about superhero. I think everybody is united in like, bad lame. So probably no superhero. Um, the Babylon B. I wish uh, I didn't really set up my OBS. I don't think for this. So unfortunately, um, I can't really. I wished I would have. But I, I caught this, this is kind of an older um, post on the Babylon Bee. <laughs> but the, uh, there, was a, there was a thing on the Babylon Bee where, you know, of course, um, they were talking about the, the name change, uh, you know, and it was like, um, the Washington Redskins have, you know, unveiled their new team name, the Washington Commanders, and with that, they've unveiled their new mascot, with that being, uh, the new mascot is General Custer. <laughs> Babylon B is horrible. Uh, but, you know, they were talking about, um, I'll read this a little bit to you. Um, it says, the Washington football team changed its name this week, finalizing a year-long transition from Redskins to Commanders. Along with the shiny new name, the team announced the brand new mascot, General George Custer. And this is a quote from Dan Snyder. We wanted a mascot that would represent the ultimate commander, said team owner Dan Snyder. Someone the fans could really rally behind as we want to make our last stand on defense. <laughs> General Custer, who famously said, there are not enough Indians in the world to defeat the 7th Calvary, <laughs> will be on the sidelines <laughs> every game to cheer on the commanders with the crowd. <laughs> Native American leaders have been critical of the new mascot. Commanders is vague enough to be inoffensive, but this mascot makes everything worse. You think? <laughs> Custer was famous for reveling in the slaughter of native tribes and Chief Rolling Hamster. I just said Chief Rolling Hamster. Oh, God. I'd prefer, <laughs> I'd prefer they call themselves the, <laughs> the Redskins at this point. <laughs> I haven't laughed at this in a long time. <laughs> Notable indigenous person Elizabeth Warren <laughs> also expressed her disgust <laughs> that you would parade a white man mascot around instead of a Native American is abhorrent. <laughs> Are you saying a Native Americans can't be commanders? <laughs> I'm tired of rich white people making these decisions. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Lord. She laminated from her mansion in Cambridge. <laughs> oh, Babylon B. Oh, my dear Lord. Oh, this is, this is so funny. Um, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I felt that this morning, and, and I had to share that with you folks um, because I just thought that that went along great with um, the whole discussion with the, the uh, mascot. It is so funny, though, how this <laughs> fan base... Cannot seem to agree on anything. Like, you know, of course, the whole name change thing was this big thing, you know, like people arguing about the name change and, you know, Red Wolves and, you know, no, that's stupid and it's got to be Red Hogs, it's got to be this and that. And then when it was Commanders, everybody, most everybody was like, 
but <laughs> and then you know eventually people kind of warmed up to it but um and that's probably going to be the same so you know while everybody's arguing over uh dogs and hogs it's probably going to wind up being the superhero because in the end i think they're they're probably um going to the uh the extent of this fan base is so crazy <laughs> that we're just going to make sure that we we pee them off royally <laughs> We're either going to, if we can't make them all happy, we're just going to pee them all off and say, we know you like the hogs this side, and we know you like the dogs on this side, so we're going to go, we're going to go with Superhero, or we're going to go with General Custer. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's hilarious. Anyway, um... Let me know in the comments what you think the mascot name should be. It should be revealed, um, not, or not the name, but, you know, the actual mascot. Um, my personal opinion, of course, I'm in the hogs category just because I like tradition. I like things being tied back as much as possible to the Redskins because I... I think that you have to keep some sort of identity. Uh, they've already lost so much of their identity as it is. Um, and I think that if you're, you know, there are some fans who are like, we need to make a clean break. And my opinion with that is if you truly believe that in your heart of hearts that this team should make, or that the fans and this organization should make a clean break from Washington Redskins, then don't claim those Super Bowl trophies. Put those su Super Bowl trophies up in uh, Canton and clear out your trophy case of all NFL and Super Bowl championships that the Redskins won and say that was... That was the Redskins that won those uh, those uh, Super Bowl championships. It's not this franchise. This franchise is brand new. It's basically an ex uh, expansion team. That's really, you know, you can't have it both ways. You can't. You can't act. You can't argue out of both sides of your mouth. You can't say I want a clean break from the past, but I want to still celebrate that we were three times Super Bowl champions. You can't do that. Uh, you know, it's not about, to me, it's almost like carpet bagging, right? And for those who don't understand what that means, it's basically, um, you get these new people who come in, who kind of just take over and shove all the other people out. And I get a sense of that sometimes from some of the newer fans who were such a champions of wanting to get rid of the old stuff. And you know they want to <clears throat> they want to shove anything out that has anything to do with Redskins because well that's what they were told you have to do because they follow everything politically hook line and sinker well if it's true or not and because of that you know they want to do all that but yet they still want to claim the championships oh they'll tell you. Well, you know, that's been so far removed that I just don't even think about those anymore. No, you do. You do. Because you want that crest. You like that crest. You like that crest with those those dates on there that have been, you know, uh, corrected. You like that. And without those Super Bowl champions, that crest wouldn't make any sense. So... You 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 want to know when when the when the dirt starts flying during the regular season with the, the other NFC East fans. You're going to want to be able to have that in your back pocket that says to the Eagles fans, "Hey, you've only won one Super Bowl. You know we've won three. You you want to have that in your back pocket." Anyway, this video has gotten way too long. 
It should not have been this long. You guys are not going to stay around at this point. Anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think. Again, please support this uh, channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you will be notified when these videos are released. Thank you so much. And you can also support me in different ways as well. And I will show you that right now. Seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired.